Brian Hum, and I'm a restaurant owner in San Jose, California. We had planned a special trip to uh, Cabo, Mexico with my wife and three sons. It was to celebrate my son BJ's 18th birthday and graduation from high school. We uh, flew from San Jose to Los Cabos, arrived around eight o'clock at night, and the resort told us to go eat because it was getting late and the restaurant was gonna close. So we went and ate and it was uneventful. We just ate and started walking around the resort looking at the swimming pool. Uh, all of a sudden, my son came to me and said, Dad, my throat hurts. Can we go get some cough drops? So we went to the gift shop and later someone came to me and says, you need to go to the lobby, your son's fallen ill. And I'm thinking it's summer, he's healthy. And basically I ran to the lobby and he, his face was pale, his lips were blue, and he couldn't talk and he was gasping for air. Uh, the doctor, we were asking for the doctor, but he had left for the day because it was past five o'clock. And my son just continued having a hard time breathing and collapsed and the, the staff tried to do CPR and try to revive him. And I kept on asking the staff, is he gonna be okay? And they said the doctor's on its way. And he finally, the doctor came and I asked him, is he okay, is he breathing? And he put his head next to his mouth and he, and he took a pulse and he just covered him up and he said, sorry. And so my son died of anaphylaxis because there was peanuts in the food that he had eaten. And we never thought that the peanut allergy could kill him. So it's been my life mission to raise awareness of the food allergies and how life-threatening they can be. I, I never wanted to see another family have to go through what my wife and I have gone through with the loss of a son. So the day that BJ died, I, I noticed that my son Stephen had a more mild reaction of having some rash and a runny nose. After we got back to the States, we had both boys take a whole allergen blood test that identified that they were sensitized to peanuts. We then had them take a component blood test. This test is helpful because it gives more information about allergy. The test told us that my younger son was likely allergic to peanuts and at risk for an anaphylactic reaction like BJ. But my middle son, who was eating peanuts at the time, was likely okay to continue eating them. I, I've been advocating, I went to Washington, D.C. to talk in front of the Congress and Senate to pass the EpiPen in School Act, and that was signed by uh, President Obama. So that basically said all schools can voluntarily have EpiPens in the school. Uh, more recently, we passed the law to get EpiPens in restaurants. So at my restaurant in San Jose, I do st store EpiPens right there available for any customer who had a food allergy reaction. I also did a walk for five years in memory of BJ to raise food allergy awareness and it raised almost a half a million dollars to, to help find a cure. And on a day-to-day -day basis, I meet with customers and I tell them how serious their food allergy because many of them come in and say they do not carry EpiPen and I only get rash and an itchy throat. But I tell them that that's the way BJ was for 18 years, never having an anaphylactic. It's just that one time and you don't get a second chance if you don't have something like an EpiPen to give you time to get to the emergency room. For those people who don't really understand food allergies, I want them to understand it's real. Uh, more and more people are getting food allergies and that really be careful when you have family members or friends over to eat, that it can be life-threatening and take them seriously. If you have food allergies, go get tested, go get a prescription for an EpiPen and make sure you carry it all the time. You may have slight itch and rash now, but if you're testing positive, you may have a severe reaction and you wanna be prepared at all times. Be vigilant, don't take them lightly.